your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Good Thursday to you. Another unsettled forecast moving into the area and sticking around as we head into the end of the week and the start of your weekend. Better chance for scattered rain showers and thunderstorms will be across the PD and the border belt today. 60% chance, but even along the Grand Strand, we've upped those rain chances to a 40% chance. We could even see a few isolated showers and thunderstorms develop along the sea breeze as we go through the mid afternoon. Otherwise, scattered showers and thunderstorms still possible overnight, although the coverage will start to wane a little bit and still holding on to those rain chances even more so for the day tomorrow. This afternoon, when you're not seeing those scattered showers and thunderstorms, look for partly sunny skies. The temps will max in the mid 80s along the Grand Strand, upper 80s inland, but the PD and the border belt should stay shy of 90 degrees because that's where we will see that increased coverage of those scattered showers and thunderstorms. But the humidity is going to be staying up, not just for today, but for the next several days as this stalled out frontal boundary remains just to our west, which means we are on the eastern side, that tropical side where the deep tropical moisture settles in and the humidity stays up, and that's when we're talking about scattered rain showers and even some strong thunderstorms over the next several days. Friday being our best chance for rain area wide, a little more scattered in nature for your upcoming weekend. Sunday looks like we could see at least the first half of the day being a little bit drier than on Saturday. Nonetheless, our rain chances are tapering off as we head to the beginning of next week. But over the next five days, still dealing with the chance of some of those heavier downpours. Uh, we're still dealing with flood warnings across half the rivers around the area, uh, major portions of the rivers, that is, as well as we're keeping an eye on the potential for an area-wide flood watch with a very saturated ground still left over from all of the rain we saw just from about two weeks ago. That was 6 to 10 inches from that weekend of rain and into the early portion of the week. We're going to be looking for two to four inches of rainfall possible over the next five days. But as mentioned, isolated strong thunderstorms, damaging wind gusts possible with those thunderstorms could produce uh, some damage to trees that get blown over by that already very saturated ground. So that's certainly something we'll be keeping an eye on for you over the next five days. Tropical storm Chantal or what once was sheared apart. Looks like a lot of tropical moisture still associated with it, but now just the remnants of Chantal. It is over the Bahamas forecast to gradually work its way toward the east coast of Florida, really not showing any signs of re regeneration or reorganization as it's going to be still interacting with a lot of wind shear and uh, over the next several days, slowly working its way eastward. It will get guided out to the west, but our tropical moisture, the deep tropical moisture in place for us is not associated directly with Chantal. That's with the frontal boundary, but we still, despite where the remnants of Chantal goes, we're going to be dealing with that deep tropical moisture in place until about late Sunday and into Monday when some drier air associated with the Bermuda high off to the east pushes back and pushes most of that deep tropical moisture plume back to our west as we go in toward the beginning of next week. That doesn't mean next week is going to be dry. It's just going to be drier than what we will see at times over the course of the weekend. Seven day forecast high temperatures will stay in the mid to upper 80s for the Grand Strand aside from on Friday with High of 83 degrees because of the excess cloud cover and the increased coverage of the showers and thunderstorms scattered around the area. That'll be the case even for the inland areas. You'll see your coolest day, relatively speaking here, at 85 degrees, but the humidity will stay up. Upper 80s heading through the end of the weekend and into early next week. We're back to around 90 degrees by Wednesday, and the rain chances are tapering back off to that isolated afternoon thunderstorm pop-up. Otherwise, uh, a lot of rain in the forecast. We're going to be keeping a very close eye on those Rivers that have already been seeing a lot of flooding out there, tacking on more rain. And even though those areas may not see all of that two to four inches, the water has to run somewhere. And unfortunately, it's going to be running into those already swollen creek streams and rivers out there. So if you live around the Waccamaw, Little PD, Great PD rivers and areas that are already seeing some flooding, be careful because we're going to continue to see more rain and more water added to those areas. We'll continue to keep you updated on that. And you can always get the latest on your news, weather, and tropical updates on your website, carolinalive.com. Have a great Thursday.